Hello everybody, welcome to the Resident Evil 2, the full version that is already out. Um, we were actually excited to play this because I don't even know if there's going to be like new things in this one. Like there may be like new items that are not in the demo version. Like the, some, the, the full version might have new items that we, can, we might get. And I don't think everything could be the same from the original version. Like probably there might be some difference from the remake. Alright then let's hit start game. I'm just going to hop in. I love how the background shows Raccoon City like completely destroyed. Alright now so okay now we're going to be showing like here we have like Leon Kennedy's story and Claire Redfield's story. Um, right, so okay after a few days of radio silence from his new post Leon S. Kennedy drives to Raccoon City to scope things out unbeknownst to him and Nightmare Awaits. And here we have Claire Redfield's story. A different Nightmare Awaits Claire Redfield who is unaware of just how Dress Collie, her very ordinary life is about to change. We all know what, what Claire's here for in the Raccoon City. She's looking for her brother, Chris Redfield. Let's just uh, hop into this game, everybody, and I'll see you when the, when the game begins. Alright, we're on the loading screen right now. What kind of hamburger is that he's eating? There's gonna be like a zombie walking on the road. He's gonna hit. It definitely does. Sure, sure, sounds like your wife, but not exactly. Oh, that's just bad. Like, he's not he's not he's not watching the road anymore. We all know what's gonna happen. There's gonna be like a zombie walking across the road and then he's gonna hit it and he's gonna get out of the truck and check on the person. That's what's gonna happen. Oh no. Oh she's still in the truck. Ooh, that may have hurt. They did a good job making the game look so good. Well that's what happens when you don't pay attention to the road. Oh please driver, don't get out of the flipping car. I mean Laurie, excuse me, what'd I call a car for? Road one here, but even though that I know that everybody knows think that they hit somebody by accident, but you don't you don't even know like could it be like a zombie or not? It could be the truck driver's worst nightmare. Because the way he looks shocked when he saw a dead body lie on the ground, he must be shocked like he doesn't want this to happen. It's not your fault man, you you didn't even see where you're going. The zombie's gonna like stand up and peer right behind him and it's gonna attack him. I just know it, wait for it, what happens? I think you better get back in the truck. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Okay, no, he's dead. He's definitely dead. He's gonna get bitten. I wonder is that the same truck driver from the original game that appeared? And here we have Leon Kennedy. I actually heard that they're doing a remake on Resident Evil 3, but I don't know if they're doing it right now or I think they're just taking a break. Okay, he, okay, no, I guess it's a bit different because in the Raccoon City, the original one he played, we played in. He usually just arrives in Raccoon City, that's it, like he never showed up at the gas station. I wonder what will William Birkin will look like in a remake model, he may look terrifying. Here is our friend, Leon. Well, he looks so good. Like his, look, he looks awesome in this game. Going around. Well, Leon, even though that if there's no one around, means that they're all dead, the zombies just kill them all. I don't even know if the remake of Resident Evil 3 might be working on. Like, we have no clue how would Nemesis would look like in the remake. Uh, Leon, I think you should get back in the car and get out of there because you have no clue what could be in that shop. Yeah, so that's a bad sign. If you see blood, just get out of there. It's not safe for you. Oh, are we starting to play it right now? I think we are. Alright, are we controlling it right now? Alright, I'm going to look a thing on something here. I'm going to try to use the keyboard and the mouse for a different. I want to see like what is it like when you play with the keyboard and mice. You see, every time I play a horror game, I always use the Xbox controller. Alright, so okay, the police car door is open and there's no one in there. I'm guessing the officer must have walked in there. I think that's what you heard in the, the glass shutter. 
Whoa, this is so creepy out here. And there's a sign that says, Welcome to Raccoon City, the home umbrella. I just wonder, is this the gas station from the Resident Evil 2 1998 version? Like, in the cutscene of the original one, it shows the gas station where the guy throws the zombie out of the window. And that guy in the lorry must be the same guy that got bitten by the zombie at the start where he, where he hit the zombie. So, I guess in the remake does have a lot of changes. Like, there are like a lot of changes, like there ain't nothing to see him. The lighting effect looks so good, while the graphics look so beautiful. What do you think, Leon? Do you not notice there's, there's blood on the floor? Look! There's blood on the floor, and I can hear someone moaning right now. Do you have any idea, like, if you hear a, a moaning or also blood on the floor, I will get out of that gas station and and go somewhere else see if... Oh god, he is definitely bleeding. That zombie definitely took a big chunk out of his neck. He's gonna be bitten, he's got bitten. He's gonna turn, we just know it, he's gonna turn into a zombie. He's probably gonna attack us from behind, like, that's what he's gonna do. What the? Oh, you idiot! Hey, what are you doing? He locked me in here! He just locked me in here. Well, Leon, looks like it's just you and me. Well, Leon, let's just, all just fight the zombie if there's one in here. Wait, there's the officer. Oh no, you don't. You don't. You don't got this. Oh, uh, well, well, he's dead. Thumbnail. Alright, we all, we all know what to do. Aim for the head. This zombie sure does take a lot of bullets in the head. Like, I've never seen zombies like this before. Okay, so, m using the mice is, like, easier because you can move the character right, like, quickly. Like, whenever something comes at you. But I still prefer the controller, but... Oh my, what do we have here? Okay, we got a key for... That's in the gas station. Okay, but we are locked in from that guy that locked the door from us. Maybe he properly locked in that room so that the zombie does not get out and that zombie is just back up to his feet again all right then okay we had no time to read about that we could use to get this door open now let's get the heck out of here before we get attacked by more zombies that is going to eat us alive oh you know I'm, I'm just gonna run because i don't care if there's any zombies around here I, i'm just gonna run for it i can hear one back behind me where the heck did that one come from oh, who's that oh it's claire Okay, so there are like a lot of changes on this one because Claire doesn't even show up in the Raccoon City this time. She is now in the gas station. Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Holy shit. I think Claire looks so awesome in this model. Where the heck all the zombies come from? I think they probably heard the gunshot and they must have all come over here and see what it is. Like, I'm guessing that's what they all heard. The gunfire. Yeah, you pushed that zombie, you pushed it out of the way. Why didn't Leon take his car instead? Maybe he has no time to get it. Wait, how did he get the car started? I think the officer left the car keys in the police car, even though that he doesn't need it anymore because he's already dead. Also, the guy doesn't even know that Leon is an officer because he's not wearing a police uniform. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Yep, he's she's talking about Chris Redfield. Welcome to Raccoon City, home of Umbrella. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love the graphics. I wish I could play this graphic. I think the opening is going to be so epic. Okay, here's what confuses me is... Yeah, so... In the original game, is that Leon and Claire, they just arrive at Raccoon City Lake. Leon usually comes across a dead body lying on the road. But then he... Some, but then instead, like, when he examines the body, zombies just came out of nowhere and try to attack him. And then he comes across Claire at the cafe shop. But in the remake, this time we now have them all meet up at the gas station where... And then, of course, it does show the same scene where Claire says, Don't shoot! Leon says, Get down! And then Leon shoots a zombie in the head and tells Claire to head to the police station. Alright, okay, here it comes. I think this is where the title comes up. Oh, yep, here it comes. Resident 
Evo 2. I'm disappointed that there's no like Resident Evil voice line. Okay, what's happening now? Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical I actually wonder what would the liquors remake look like? I hope they're like much terrifying as they are. Yeah, you think about that, Claire. Station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Leon is right because you see, it is a big city. Sometimes some people live in apartments on higher ground, and then they probably might be safe from zombies from higher ground. Of course, that maybe there's some zombies are actually in the apartments that are trying to break out. But, I think that he has a point. Where can we walk from this time, Leon? There's a big roadblock in the way. Well, Leon, I think we better off running instead because there are two zombies just lying there eating the corp. More like yeah, yes, Claire, that's what I said. What the heck? Where the heck all those zombies come from? Oh, hey. Oh hey, it's the guy again. Oh no, he got bitten. Get out. Get out now. I wonder did he push that girl away that, that bit him? I'm pretty sure he got away safely, but of course he's dying right, right now. Okay, now he's dead. He's definitely dead. This is the same crushing from, from the original one, where Claire and Leon got attacked by a zombie in the police car, but then the truck came out of nowhere. Okay, so apparently is that this one bit changed because they're supposed to be getting out of the car but they this time they can't because the zombies are like holding them in. But luckily they survived the car crash. But what about Claire? Does she survive? Ooh. Okay, that's one big explosion. Oh man, this is actually getting good. Look at this, that is one good graphic. Well, thank goodness, Claire, because we you're like an awesome character. I'm glad that you survived. Alright, I guess we had to go this way this time. Well, calm down, lady. Do you not hear that scream? Rawr, rawr. I can't do it. Well, look at this graphic. Like, all this shadowy looking is so amazing. The way the fire effects go in. And it looks so much better than the original one. I bet I bet the liquors are going to be like much scary in the dark when they're lurking in the room. I do hear that people said that liquors are blind and they can only attract the sound. So maybe if you make do not make any noise, they may not attack you. I don't know, everybody was talking about it. Sorry zombie, but no more food for you because you're not that hungry. We all know that the T-Virus has done all this infection going on. So we better get an escape before these zombies get to us. Alright, let's close that gate behind. But wait, how is Claire going to get in? Leon, you just locked Claire out. How is she going to get in? Maybe there's like another back door somewhere that she can get in. Alright, let's look around here so we can find. Okay, it'd usually be a cemetery over here. But this time it's border up. Yeah, there is a cemetery. Yeah, and the original one, you, there's usually like a gate over there where you can go through here and go to the police station door. But somehow that's bordered up. What about over here? Okay, does anybody remember what used to be over here? Okay, and this must be where the stairs are. There's actually like a little secret easter egg where you get like a secret zombie of the character from the stars members that appears down there but I don't know if that's going to happen again. Is it just me? Has the police station graphics look much darker or is it just like the way it, I put the brightness down? Is anybody here? Alright. Okay, we got some ammo we can collect. I just wonder, is anybody actually here? I actually wonder like where does the lieutenant stay at? Wait, hold on, I just realized something. There's footprints. Hey, let me follow the footprints. 
I don't even know what those footprints belong to Lieutenant, the guy that saved us when we get pulled in by the zombie, but somehow he managed to pull us out of there. Right, anyway, let's just go and hop onto the keep, this laptop, and so you can see what we can have. And yes, we all know what happens here is that we'll come across the guy, the guy Elliot, that is getting chased by a zombie. And there he is. I think those bloody footprints that are from Lieutenant, like he must be like walking around the place, like probably, you know, like looking for a soft main place to see if. Oh my. Elliot should have just like run away, just keep running. Like the zombie, like if you could not take down that zombie, just keep running away from it, then you will you will be safe. You gotta find that guy. Oh, by the way, everybody, I know you guys cannot barely see me like when my face is a bit dark because that because the windows right here next to me are so bright and then it kinda of might might distract you from behind and I just close up the curtains so no so everybody could not be able to see like, like if people cannot see my face with that light flashing my face, that will be the car for everybody to, to see my reactions on playing the game. Okay, we all know what happens if we come in here. So keep by, yes, we all know that, but we still have to come in here. Yep, and there's all, there's all the blood that's in here. I actually wonder, like, why is Leon not wearing his police uniform? In the demo version, he was wearing a police uniform. But here my theory is, is I'm guessing is that he's probably, you know, like he's probably like wearing it for, I think, I think he wears it whenever he uh, gets ready when Lieutenant tells him to be ready. You know, I don't even know. Yeah, Leon, you got this. Okay, you know what, let me go in here, just make sure, because I know that we've been in this room before, but we still need to check and see if there's anything we have. But luck we do, because there are some ammo we can collect. I don't clue why it's still boarded up, by the way, maybe if I look through here, yeah, there is an uh, elevator I can see. Anything we can find right here. Oh, by the way, any I recorded the Resident Evil 2 remake clip at the start where we start playing a game, and somehow, like, I noticed that the way, like, there's stuff around with the audio, like, whenever I put the the video on the Sony Vegas Pro and start editing it, it somehow made the audio, like, messed up, like, it's hard to explain, it's like whenever like you are watching a video and somehow the character starts speaking like but no voice but somehow the voice is, is like late, too late to appear. Wait, okay, let's see if uh, any new items in these in the bathroom. Nah, there's still nothing new in these in these locations. I actually wonder are there any easter eggs that might appear. Let me just turn this down a little bit. Of course that how to make sure I need to hear anything in the background. Okay, this is where we rescue Elliot, but somehow he dies. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, come on, let's get you out of there. Please! Help me! I got you. I think the gate must have must have dropped onto him and hold him in that position. Ooh. Oh god, that may have hurt. Well, feel bad for that guy. I must say, I think that whole entire zombie managed to wrap him in half. Maybe there's like, like maybe a horde just showed up before because in the camera it shows like one zombie chasing after him. Alright, what about in the book? Okay, so there is a little bit of difference here, is that it shows a unicorn, and a lion, and a woman, this time. Alright, so okay, we need to get past the zombie that's going through the door. Alright, so we, we, we all know what to do here is that... Go, 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 go! People says you must shoot the zombies in the leg or the head, because when you shoot them, they will, like... They will do, like, a little animation bit where they get, when they get shot. Go 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 go! Okay, no way to go in this way, because it gives you, it gives you some time so you can run past them. Like, because you need a lot of ammo for fighting like big enemies, like the Lickers, Mr. X, and everybody. Oh yeah, I forgot about this bit. There's Lieutenant rescuing us. 
Ooh, ooh. That may have hurt. You're safe. Thanks. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I had. I could. <sighs> Here. Jesus me, he's hurt badly. He looks a bit pale, as you could tell. Now, of course, he's losing a lot of blood in it, and you get pale when you keep losing a lot of blood, and he's getting weaker. Does anyone know what started this? Oh, there's his uniform. So he somehow puts it on when when the lieutenant told him to be ready. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant, I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Ellie. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, Wookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take Stop. It. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <sighs> <sighs> You'll be all right. Well, I hope not. Okay, we got a knife that we can have. Actually, by the way, people do say is that if you, like, yeah, because if you do bring with you, he will slow you down. But we all know that he's gonna turn into a zombie. Like, I don't know if that if that's a bite mark or it could be like another wound. Like, it could be a liquor that, that clawed them, or a bite mark from a zombie. It could be anything that attacked them. Well, okay, we need to go this way. So, Lieutenant used to be, in the original one, he usually be th in this room. This room right here, he's supposed to be in. Because in the original one, so, Leon walks through the door, and then you walk right up here. And then you just walk into this door, and that's just where Leon finds Lieutenant. Uh, sitting probably like over be by his locker location area. And so yeah, this is his footprints uh, from him. So I'm guessing he must have come out through here and heard all the commotion and he saw me like got grab a zombie and somehow he rescued me. I'm not totally sure like where he could be in that room all the time or he's probably like like hiding somewhere. This is not how I imagine my first day. Oh, uh, what do you expect, Leon? Because of course, everybody. If I was an officer and if I come here, I will end up not knowing what 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 will I be waiting for? Yeah, I still have no clue. Is, is a liquor ever going to like crawl past this window? I don't think there's no need to rush this time. Of course, I like to go through the game all the time. All right, everybody. So this is where Leon comes across a body where it has been sliced in half. I know that the liquor caused all this damage. Oh, okay. This I still forgot about this bit. That never gets old. <laughs> yeah, I I think that liquor closed his mouth because that must be like a big. Oh my god! Why does that always get me? Can we need like some kind of like, a key for that? Yeah. So this claw belongs to the liquor. I'm not sure if the hunters can make their appearance in Resident Evil 2. Of course in the original one they never show up. I'm guessing we have to board this window up but we don't have like anything to board it up with. So let's just move on. Okay this is where the zombie comes to this window. But but we just, we just gotta get out of there. Okay that there is like geared up badly. There's, oh yeah there's some ammo I did not miss. Thank goodness for that. Okay let's just uh wait what's that on the floor? Oh, for that, I thought there was like an item I can grab. Okay, what does that say? Record event events. 
We are turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. Our police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. One of their refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of a one officer and injuring three others. The person whose question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in the number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shelters. But surrounded as we are, it will be hard to for any of us to escape this place. We are not sure we can fix any of the comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1pm. 12 people died and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into this area in here. Oh cool my god. Oh, I'll take that map, thank you. Okay, go, 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 go. Jeez me. I didn't expect that to happen. Oh look at that! That was only once from the vending machine. What's wrong, buddy? Do you want a bit? Do you want some candy? Yeah, I got one for you. Oh, I forgot I need to reload. There you go. That actually blew up that whole entire brain of the zombie's head. There's nothing over here important, by the way. Okay, we all know that the zombie is going to get up to his feet, so we better knife him to his leg so he does not get back up to his feet. He's getting up right now. Get back down on the ground and stay down. Wait, is he still not down yet? Get down already, please! Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Yeah, you better stay down. Like, seriously, this zombie really doesn't give up. Just die already. There we are. Oh my goodness me. Okay, you might come to life. I love how all the zombies are all like playing dead and they're waiting for me to walk towards them to attack them. Like, they're, whenever I don't go near them, they're like, oh please, hurry up, I want to attack so bad right now. That's what they're alive right now, what do you think? Okay, he's probably like still alive, I'm just going to take him out. Yeah, he's probably dead now. Yep, he's dead. You gotta make sure that you're safe whenever this happens. Did, did we read this? Yeah, I think we did. Okay, we've already wrote this, so we'd better move on. Okay, this one here is like, I'm pretty sure this one, yeah, remember this one that comes to life. Okay, there is a safe over there, but, but we don't know the code, so we, we'll be back for that later. Oh wait, there's gunpowder we need to grab first. And yeah, we have already know what to do with this, so we don't need to read that before. Alright, I think we have to, we, we, we never been through here before. Alright, so okay then. We wrote this for, yep yeah, we did. Okay, we, but we still don't have a weapon key card to get this door open. Yeah, because there is a shotgun that we need, and that shotgun might come in handy for us to take. I think the key card must be in a different location somewhere. Okay, let's just get out of this room, and let's go over here. Yeah, we better make sure that the zombie might probably might be able to try to break down that window. Yeah, sorry zombie, but no zombies allowed. You, you can't get in here. Yeah, but this zombie might do break the window soon, so we better... You yeah, know, let me board that window up first. Everybody did say that boarding up the windows is a good idea because you'll be safe from the zombies. I think it keeps them out so that those zombies don't come in even more. Because when the zombie breaks that window, it still can't get in because it's boarded up. Okay. Yeah, so we've already wrote about the herbs and everything, so we don't need to read that out. If you guys still want to read them out for you there, I can read it out if you want. Okay, and that's a chest where you can put your stuff in, so... I'm guessing we can put in the the key and because we don't need the key for what the heck Chris model, Jill model, Albert model but I've already and I don't remember buying a DLC or something or a PAX whatever I just got I probably somehow must have bought like maybe uh, the full version along with the PAX and everything okay yes 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 I know I know combine Capcom should have added like a thing here where... Wait, what's that? Okay, if you look closely, you can see there's a picture of the star members from the original game. Yeah, it's very cool to see like the original picture from the Resident Evil 2 1998 version. Anything important we can find? 
more ammo we can collect, that's good. Combine. No, 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 no. Combine, not examine it. Thank you. So I guess that zombie will not get in. Yeah, we could do now. You can't get in. That's boarded up very good. I think the barricades keep zombies out so that they don't come in even more whenever you kill them all. We all know that she comes to life, but as long as we maybe if we leave her alone, she'll probably not bother us. Or that guy can probably... Okay, let's cut him up. I don't even remember that another zombie can appear on the stairs. In the demo version, there were no zombie appear on the stairs. Okay, now he's dead. When a zombie falls to the ground, just make sure you stab them before you do. What's behind this locker? Oh my god, I hate when that happens. Uh, I'm not sure what the code could be. What? 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 How do I know that? How do I know that? Oh yeah, I remember now. It's because I look up Easter eggs, and there's actually like an Easter egg we can put in. Cap means Capcom code. Okay, there's more shotgun shells we can collect. Yeah, but we don't have that shotgun. The shotgun's still locked up in that safe place where it is. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Portable safe? What is this? What is this for? I think it's for helping get all the safes to open. Probably. All right, let's see what else we can find. There must be something we missed. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, this misses the valve. We can't go over there. Somehow, because the valve is like the steam's all coming out. I mean, if we go through there, it will burn us so badly. Yeah, if that burns us, we're definitely gonna die. So we don't want to go through there. We need to turn it off. Oh, there's another red herb. I think we better store it in a chest somewhere before it will be safe. All right then. Oh yeah. What in the? Okay, it did broke through the window somewhere, but not over here. Like we couldn't even tell like what broke the window. Uh, let's see here what we got. To any survivors, consider th this a gift for anyone still unfortunate enough to believe. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they were skinned alive. Lickers we call them. They're blind as bats, but they're hearing more than makes up for it that. So long as you don't run around like a total idiot guns are blazing, you should be able to slip right by them. Probably either way, make like a my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around them, yeah. Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls that, and I've got a friend to revenge. Yeah, so it is true, like, leggers are blind as a bat, and then you will not be able to... If you walk past them quietly, they will not attack, but they still will attack if you attack them. But it's kind of good, like, at least that we know what their weak soft spot is. They still look terrifying whenever you see them climb up the ceiling or anywhere where they could be. Like, they are terrifying as heck. At least that there's, like, at least we all know what their weakness is. So I'm guessing all these like barricades are like for keeping the zombies out. Like, of course there's a window like we missed that is actually broken I think that's for keeping the zombies out. Okay, there's another we can collect. Okay, there's no point reading that because we wrote that in the demo version last time if you guys remember that. I still don't know where that weapon key card could be. This has to be like around here somewhere. You know what, let's bring this with us. Like I wanna like go back anyway just so I can store the so I can store some of the stuff that I don't need. Alright, I don't think we all search all over the place, so I think we can go through this door right now. Oh, it's the library. Oh I remember this library. It's Marvin. I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? Something's happening. Okay, but where we had to go, that's what I'm curious about. Okay, we, okay, there's more zombies down here, but we're going to find a way to go go through this. Oh wait, I, I don't remember coming across this door before. Oh, I, oh, there we are. Okay, now we can go through here. Alright, so okay, we, guys, we have no clue how we get sort of that bookshelf puzzle somehow, but I'm guessing we find a way out through here. Okay, I wonder what, what is the officer going to tell us for? Okay, he has something to tell us. Like, whatever it is, it must be something important. Okay, let's see what he's gonna say. There you are. Come here. Take a look. Yes. I knew she'd make it. That's Claire. You know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. 
you can get to that courtyard from the second floor east side <laughs> I'm on it will they be all right Lieutenant. I knew Claire has survived oh god everybody loves Claire even though she is awesome <laughs> I think Claire and Leon look a good, good team whenever they're whenever they come across zombies. I just wonder when did Claire get a gun for? Like in the original game, like Claire got a gun from from the police car. Wait, okay, did he say come this way? I think he did. I think he did. Uh, let's combine. There we go. Okay, if I don't remember here, I think he told us to go this way, right? What's this we have here? Guy Pomlet. Did you know why we are at the home of Pharma Cutigo Giant Umbrella Corporation? Raccoon City is a vibrant and demonic city with a long rich history of its own and this guide will introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City PlayStation Building in the center of town wasn't always a PlayStation. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a Bajran era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from business and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window which attracts visitors from around the world. Alright guys so my webcam is died out. I'll fix it in a second. We're back now everybody so we got our face cam back on again. I'm sorry that it took me quite, quite a while for us because I have to like move all the... are you serious right now? Okay we got the key again. The good thing that we can still have this key that we can use to unlock open doors. All right. Okay, I don't remember being here before. What the heck? I just saw I got something caught there. All right, I think. Okay, that's the art room. Is it locked? Okay, I have no clue what why we're here for. Oh, uh, what what do we have here? We can't use anything on this floor. Oh, I see now. Okay, we got like the arm that we can have. All right, I think we should just drop something with it there. Let's see, what can we drop for? Uh, you know, what? I don't think we don't we don't actually don't need this uh this key because we don't actually because it's only for a gas station after all. I'm, wait, I guess in the key just despawns. It's not even here anymore, so I guess we don't need it. All right, let's use this. Uh, no, not the knife, you the arm. There we go. No, don't take. Put the arm back on. Thank you. So, uh, now what? Do we have to do something here? Okay, that's a bit weird. We just had to do something, but nothing happened. We just put the arm back on, and he just. Nothing happened. What's this? Oh, there's the weapon's locker key card. Okay, so the, so somehow the weapon locker key card somehow moved somewhere. Art article The Red Stone. The ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince, the pearl that the Queen of the Nile might drive the diamond to lead a queen to the gold tie, and there is no end to the number of tales related to the peel of jewels. The mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, the one's origin is unknown. It's said that once adorned a nobleswoman jewel box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, the stone that's long and been shrouded, the legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager assists, but dear reader, one would do well to approach who, with care, the valery lies in beauty shadow. This jewels has turned caring nobles who love their subjects, and this spot more terrible than Caligula, and we have the real tales to prove it. Seriously. It's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stares something in the hearts of people everywhere. Alright then, let's just uh, get out of here. I think the courtyard's back here. He, like, of course he did point this way. Okay, we don't need that barricade yet. Okay, what does this do here? Okay, we need, oh yeah, we need like a lever for that. We, but it's missing. What was that? Okay guys, I don't like the sound of that growling noise. I have a feeling we're going to hear something.
Was that the helicopter? Wait, why is it raining? Oh my goodness. What the hell happened? High enough did they go high enough did they crash into the heli why high did they how did they crash? Oh my goodness. Claire! Hold on! I'll be right there! Okay! <laughs> Claire's happy to see us. Oh my goodness. Claire! It's so nice to see you. <laughs> helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I just wonder, how did the helicopter crash, by the way? In one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. <laughs> Am I with your brother? No, not yet. There, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Ooh! Alright, okay, this is bad, really bad. Damn it. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Zombies get attracted yeah, to the sign. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. Oh my god, this is insane. Hey, we need to go. Now. Yeah, these zombies are really want you so bad. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. Yeah, no type of talking. You need to get out of there because those zombies are really are ready to eat you up. Okay, how do we get out of here? Uh, Marvin, I've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin! Damn it! Okay, what do we have here? Cutting tool. Okay, we need that. Okay, what can we drop for? Uh, come on, come on, come on. What can we use it for? <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna have to drop one of these. I know that we need these four, but it's the only way we can get some more space. We need like more of one of those cases we have. Alright, everybody. So... I'm going to end this here because this video is kind of like 40 minutes that long. So I hope you enjoyed this and leave a like and subscribe. There will be more series for Resident Evil 2. After we beat Resident Evil 2, the full version of it, I'm pretty sure I might do the, the seventh one as well. But first I have to deal with other games I have to beat. is Sonic Mania, The Metabus, getting over it. There's other games I haven't been beaten yet. So I guess you have to wait for those to come up next. I hope you all enjoyed this and I'll see you all on the next video. Lee Hep is out.